Hey people, Silvius. Uh, I am on the test server while all these things surround me like annoying pieces of crap. I'm just going to show where I'm at on the map. Uh, down here to the south is Port Hope. I'm kind of almost directly north of the depot, if you will. Uh, that's that little crocodile-like cave. And uh, that's the entrance, at least one of the entrances, to where the swamp trolls are. So we are at the little iceberg that shows up here with uh, the Chikoya. Uh, I don't know how big this place is. As you can see, it's I'm just here now. Uh, worth mentioning is that this place is like one of the, you know, mini world change things. Uh, so it's only open sometimes, not always. Uh, you know, like nomads in the Ank Desert, those kind of things. Bibi Bloodbath. Mama Long Legs. You know, all those things. You see her. So anyway, uh, Chikoya here. There's no tasks for Chikoya. Uh, so there's not really a good reason to kill them. Um, they're kind of lower level monsters. Uh, you see how much EXP I'm getting from them. Uh, however, the spellcaster ones can kind of hit with a little bit of uh, oomph. And I think they also go invisible, which makes them sort of suck. So, it could be a little, little difficult for some people of certain levels. I think there's an invisible one right around me somewhere. Yep, there's an invisible one. I don't have enough mana. Yeah, he's up there. Anyway. Aha! Nothing in those. So yeah, they're a little, uh... They're a little tough for, I think, what the uh, intended level is on them. They're also not really profitable to hunt. Okay, so you do they do drop the uh, ice cubes, though. I guess that potentially makes them semi-profitable. So I don't know. I'm not sure what the exact level is that you would want to be to hunt these guys effectively. Um, it seems to me that, for the most part, they're a little bit too strong for anybody who's at the level that would want to fight them in the first place. Is my uh, is my assessment. But I, I have been, and I could be wrong in the past. Uh, the one thing that's worth mentioning about these guys, though, and um, I already, I don't remember the specifics of it, but they can drop an item called... <sighs> you know... I don't remember what it's called. I want to say it's some kind of horn. Um, it's a relatively rare drop. Like, very rare. Is there one in front of me? Also, it looks like up here we've got a frost giantess. One frost giantess, it looks like. Yeah, uh, I can't remember what they're called. I, I want to say hunting horns, but I'm pretty sure that's not correct. Uh, I could pause and check, I suppose. I think you can walk, yeah, you can walk into that and get inside here. Anyway, the item I was talking about, though... Uh, oh, there's one in front of me. The item I was talking about is an item that can't be sold on the market in its uh, base form. You know what? Let me kill all these things, and I'll pause, and I'll look it up real quick, because it's killing me a little bit inside. One sec, let me pause. Alright, the item... Okay. The item is called a fireproof horn. Uh, and then from... I believe it was April 3rd to May 3rd, an item near Svargaran opens up called Chili Forest, something like that. Um, it's only open for a month. And there is a like mini quest you can do just by going up to the top of it, so there's nothing super difficult you have to do while you're there. Uh, you just got some, like, mammoths and um, frost giants as the most threatening things. And once every 20 hours, you can get an item called, like, a tinderbox from the top. You can use the tinderbox on the fireproof horn to turn it into a melting horn. And then a melting horn can be used to tame a frozen or sargon or something like that. Uh, and those can be sold. And since they can only be gotten for that one month period of time... And because they can only be used in that one month period of time, uh, the price can vary wildly anywhere between, like, at least on Olympa, I saw them going for lows of, like, 12k and then highs of, like, 100k. 
Uh, and it depends on how many people are trying to get the, the mount and so on. But anyway, the point is that these guys are relatively low level. Um, <clears throat> as long as you can kill them safely and uh, that event is coming up, you can make a decent profit assuming you get lucky and loot those. Uh, I hunted these guys on Sylvius when Sylvius was like level 80 or so because I knew that event was coming up. Uh, and I got, after maybe about like four hours of hunting, I got like 10 of the fireproof horns. Now that may have been an abnormally uh, high density. But, you know. So yeah, you do stand to be able to make some decent money off of these guys, assuming that event is up. The only problem is, though, if you don't have the tinderbox... Well, for one, even if you have the tinderboxes, if the event is not running, the tinderboxes uh, are making the, the melting horn with the tinderboxes worthless, because nobody else can uh, get to use them on the potential mount things. <clears throat> so, yeah. But if that event is up and running, you can make a decent amount of money. On the other hand, that event is only up and running one month out of the 12, so take that for what you will. I just wanted to go south down here. Let me see what's over this way. Before I go down that uh, pit that was down there. I'm kind of hoping that it's just not, not all of these dudes here, and that there's maybe something else. I'm hoping. Hoping, hoping, hoping. Do, 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 do. Now, to be fair, the only place you can get these guys up is in a Spargaron under normal circumstances. And, um... You do have to do a certain amount of the... Ice Isles quests. Um, I just kind of want to see if I did get lucky and had a one. I haven't really been checking. Alright. So, yeah. Um, you have to do a couple of the quests in the Ice Islands. It's not too bad to get there. But it is it is a hassle. So, I mean, if you really wanted to hunt these guys, or if you were just doing it, like, on a whim, uh, if this event was up, or this mini world change was up, you could possibly go here. So though I generally see no reason to hunt these things. I don't know. None whatsoever. Yo, yo, yo. Whatever. Aha, you're on fire. Did I walk? I did walk right past the thing, didn't I? I did. Whoops. Whoops, and now I'm running into ice shards. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what exactly I'm hoping to find down here. Maybe some uh, crystal spiders, maybe some frost dragons, maybe some other fun things. I don't know. Well, this most assuredly looks like some kind of quest item. There's no way that's just natural. That is the thing. Okay, you know, that is the thing, I believe, uh, I'm running into a crystal scene, that you can use to make, uh, I think at least. No, it can't be. Maybe it is. I was going to say, I think that's the thing you use to make, um, to turn small amethyst into enchanted small amethyst. So, you know, to enchant weapons. <clears throat> So I'm wondering if that's a way for characters who aren't druids to be able to go make uh, an enchanted small amethyst. That seems sort of weird. It's possible, though. It's possible. No loot. No loot. Alright, what do we got over here? More of them. I'm walking into crystal shards again. Bane of my existence is walking into inanimate objects on the floor. Incidentally, I don't do that too much in real life. 
it's pretty much entirely a tibia problem I have. Die. 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 There we go. Well, that looks like everything. So there is nothing but these little Chikoya guys. That's what they're called, right? Chikoya, yeah. Nothing but these dead little Chikoya guys. Well, they were alive originally. Nothing but these little Chikoya dudes uh, at all on this iceberg, it appears. Oh, yeah, and polar bears, I suppose. Nothing else, though. I still feel like this has to do something. Nice try. I don't know. Maybe it is. If I had a small sapphire, I would check, but I don't. So anyway, that is this place. Do I Exani Terra here? Exani Terra? There we go. Wow, they respawn kind of fast. Mm, stupid, I turned invisible. Whatever. Also, I think these Chikoya dudes, the uh, the ma mage ones, can hit you with a damage over time ice attack, and I'm, I think they're the only things that do that. As far as I know, I could be wrong, though. and I often am. No, oh, he went invisible at just the perfect time. Brass helmet, minor amount of gold. Doot, doot. This is where I uh, go up at, right? Uh, oh, snap. Exani Terra. Oh, one other thing that makes these guys potentially valuable, and it depends on your world, uh, they do drop sometimes the fancy types of fish. You know, like rainbow trout, that kind of stuff. Um, and I forget which one is the one that sells for usually around like 10k or so. But there is a fish that sells for around 10k or so. So if they drop that one, you could make some money off of that one. I can't remember which one it is though. I want to say Northern Perch. I think it's a Northern Perch. Wait, what just hit me? Well, you're dead now. That's how we'll handle that. So, that was this place. It is weird to see uh, snow and ice, though, in the Taquandan jungles, let me tell you. Alright, folks. Uh, there may have been a quest there or something like that, but uh, I'm not searching through the forums and looking through a whole bunch of people complaining about stupid stuff. So, I'm not doing that. Uh... Wait until the wiki comes out with updated information, is all I can say. There may be, or may or may not be a quest there. Alright, people, like, favorite, comment, subscribe.